Alright, here I am at v1engineering.com. I'm going to go ahead and uh, flip into the uh, lowrider assembly. Go ahead and take a look. And here's the, uh, the first part. And this is the one I'm interested in at the moment. Uh, of course, we've got to put bearings on all of those, so I suppose we should do that first. 5 sixteenths by uh, 1 and a quarters here. And some little longer ones. So we're going to go with those. I don't want to wait to have to order something online in uh, quantities that make it worthwhile. So we'll just go ahead and use these. So this uh, bolt controls tension around this um, pipe here. So we don't want to tighten that one up any more than we really have to for the time being. Okay, there we are. All the four pieces complete with bearings on them. And it's just a matter of uh, bolting them down to the board here. Just like that. So let's find out what we need for that. And it looks like these guys are held on by, uh, let's see, number seven, which is a six and three, a six dash 32 uh, by one inch. And I've got some six by 32 uh, lock nuts that I also ordered from Amazon. It looks like the cat who likes to chew on plastic got a hold of this one. Again, we'll grab these locking pliers. There we go. There we go. And once again, looks like I've already got that snugged up too much. So we'll grab these two uh, ratchets here and loosen that up. There we go. Perfect. Grab another one inch right here. And we'll drive it through that wood. Hole's a little snug again. There we go. Grab another nut. That makes it so much easier. And there we are. We've got the uh, the rollers on there. Very nice. <clears throat> now the other component that goes on there is the uh, dust collection system. It goes over here toward the arrow end of, of things here. You can see that arrow end, this is where it goes. And it does consist of these three pieces that assemble very nicely. <clears throat> this is also the end where I intended to put my um, laser mount over here. So I do have a couple of extra little brackets I wanted to uh, attach on here. Piggyback on these holes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and see how that turns out now. And once I get this part working for a laser mount, I will share that, of course, uh, online on Thingiverse. So let's take another peek at the instructions. And I think that takes another 632 by 1. I hope that's going to be long enough to fit through my little bracket there, too. So let's find out. <clears throat> let's go ahead and pop one through here. Coming out right here. And it looks like that should be big enough for my little bracket to sit on top of and still be able to get a nut on top. Yay! Okay, I'll go ahead and just add the rest of those screws while we're at it. And it'll keep me from spinning. And one over 
here. Good. There. We have to do um, the stepper motor component to this. So let's look at that a little bit. Okay. And then first we have to assemble this set here. So we need to get those large um, 10 millimeter thick uh, idler wheels. And I've got some that I ordered from V1 Engineering here. So I think it's in this box. Let's find out. And fresh from V1 Engineering, I've got the correct size pulleys um, or uh, drive sprockets and the idler wheels and a bunch of the 10 millimeter belts here that we'll need later on. And then we have the other parts in this Ziploc bag. Those, another one of those. We need one for the stepper motor here. Here we go. We've got a box of stepper motors up here, including an older package from uh, that one was vicious one. And I think there's some steppers in here. Whoa, there's one stepper. One stepper and some of the old uh, dry hardware. Oh, oh, this is a connector. We'll need one of those too. There's another one. And I got one stepper motor in here, which is good enough for now. Let's go ahead and find the uh, plastic parts. Looks like one might be this. There's the other part. Right here. So the question is, do we need to mount it to the uh, stepper motor before we, uh, I think so. We have to just mount it there before we mount it anyplace else. We need some M3 by 10s. Yes, these uh, M3 by 10s definitely go in here. And it really doesn't show where the... Um, Wires should be coming off on that, so we'll just do it this way. Now this part here has these long, um, deep holes here that these guys go into. So there's one. So once again, down the other deep well there. Okay, so that's all snug down. Five, number seven, M5 by 30 with lock nut. Once again, these are the wider ones that match the uh, the width of the, the new belts that are going to be used here. And there's that M5 right there. And we'll just set this in here. There we go. And I suppose that's going to be a different size socket. Uh, oh, good, that one fits. I wonder if I can just tap them through. There we go. And now for the lock nuts on the back, and we'll go ahead and get the little clamping uh, needle nose here. Just so that they lock on. Perfect. There's that one. There's one more. That's a pretty light grip there, but I think it's going to be fine. Just enough to lock it on. We don't want to snug them down so that it's bending the plastic or anything. That would be a, a no no. And we've got that part. And we'll add that as soon as we can. And uh, I think that's it, except for the pulley that we can't add right now. So let's go ahead and put them right on here, it looks like. Yeah, and that looks like that uses uh, the 6 by 32s to uh, mount right on the end of the board right there. So that guy sticks out a little bit. 
but he's going to have to. The other mounts in here are for the um, router base. So let's go ahead and grab a couple of 6 by 32 by 1 inch. Same thing over here. Just hold that tight. So there we are, we just have to add the uh, sprocket in here, and that shouldn't be a, a problem once I have the right uh, tool set, the right uh, Allen wrench for that. Looks like it's going to have to go in thick end first this time. Yep, and that's going to be the way it's going to have to go, but that'll wait until Monday, I've got some on order. So there we are, we're done with uh, this portion and I've got the uh, laser um, mount on here. We'll see how that works. It looks like it flexes a little bit on me, but hopefully that won't matter. If not, uh, I can certainly try to put some additional bracing on there. Now the question is here, will the, will the tubes fit with that additional bracket on there? So let's take a look. Sure that that'll work if I have to redesign it. Yeah, you see that's it's not going to work. It hits up against that piece, so I am going to have to redesign that part. Doggone it! So we'll, I'll go ahead and take this off off camera, and we'll take a look at it. All right, so here we are without the laser mount attached anymore. I will go back and redesign that part. So here we are with the laser module again. It looks like I really need to clean that fan on back to improve the cooling. And my original laser mount here, of course, uh, did not work because um, with its braces back here, uh, it wouldn't fit, the, the tubing wouldn't fit through with those sitting there. So I redesigned it. Let's see if we can get it together today and get it to work. So there's the redesign bracket. Uh, what happened there, I have no idea. Good enough. And a couple of supporting pieces. Oops. And I think that's like an M3 by 6 there in that bag, so we'll go ahead and use those. So yeah, this is just a really short M3. Make sure we have the laser pointed toward the bottom bracket area here. And these screws are just uh, biting into the uh, 3D printed plastic. That's perfectly sufficient. Yeah, M3 by 8 might be a better choice, but these will work. That's on there. So now we need to mount it to the front panel here. And I think I can use the same screws that we had um, to mount them to the uh, vacuum plate here. Let me get a nut driver real quick. <clears throat> so I've got the nuts off of there. So we'll just go ahead and uh, plant that guy right there and go ahead and put the nuts back on. It's a pretty shallow grab, but I think it's gonna, gonna work. 
And, you know, this could flex a little bit up here, and that's why I think we should put these braces on here. You know what? I got them on the wrong way. This will come off the top like that, and it'll fit back in here perfectly. There. Duh. right in the hole it's supposed to be, it's there. Apparently that's not snug in there yet, huh? snug there and I just looks like I need to just tighten this guy down just a little bit more. You stand up straight on the uh, these guys. Let me raise the camera a little bit. They stand up straight and then they go right over to the back of this plate. So so it held in four positions one, two, three, four and uh, that is not going any place. So that should be good and sturdy. We'll see how it works. Let's go ahead and mount the, um, the DeWalt 611 to the 611 plate here. I pulled it off the old plate that it was on on the um, Lowrider 1. And originally I had installed this uh, dust collection port that they sell for the, uh, for the machine or for the, uh, for the router. And it just really doesn't do nothing because I usually run with the router all the way down anyway to get the most depth out of the uh, system. So let's see how we can install this here. First we need, of course, uh, this part right here, the little dust collection cover that will go on under here. And we'll go ahead and put that on. There's a little slot here that's uh, not quite as high as the rest of the system. And I think my problem is is that I've got the router too low. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen that up and I'm gonna uh, crank this down a little bit so that it stands up a little more. Yeah, and it gives a little more space down in here. So that fits Right down in there and now flush. Oops, got my screwdriver. You can see there's a little groove here that's lower than the rest of the parts. I think that's where that's gotta go, right there. And that's gonna point toward the dust shoe. So now it's just a matter of getting things lined up in here. There we go. There it bit in. So I think the first problem I was having is that I had the router plunged all the way in and it didn't leave quite enough space for this dust collection thing down here. So it was raising off of the uh, the bed of the, uh, or the raising off the board rather. And once again, let's take a look at it down here, how it should look. So the um, little cover here, uh, basically latches into this low slot here so it can only turn so far and it lines up with the LED lights and uh, we certainly have enough space to get a wrench in there yet so the dust will all collect right up through there and yeah I think that'll work so I've got mine installed here just so you know uh, with the uh, locking mechanism over here on the, oh, let's get it on camera first, with the locking mechanism pointing toward the stepper motor so that we can get in there if we need it. And what's the lowest we can go? That seems like that's the lowest we could go. So, we'll latch it down there. Pretty cool. Look at that. We're getting close. <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, looks pretty cool. Got the laser over here. Ooh. Thanks for watching.